so you join me on board an Audi RS5, isn't that exciting? Um, I've just dropped this car off for a service, but you're here to watch a review on something very different. Let me see if I can show you it. So perhaps for a bit of context later on in the video, this is the interior of a Audi RS5. This is what the dash looks like. This is a two year old car. Um, or is it three years, two or three years old now? And um, this is very Audi. This is what Audis look like from the year 2019-20. Um, however, you might have already seen, I have done a video on one of these. This is a Audi e-tron RS GT. I've also done one on the e-tron, e-tron. And now I'm gonna show you that that one there is the e-tron q4 so this um audi's latest electric offering let's go and see what it's like e-tron okay right let's have a super quick walk about this is just going to be a first impressions video by the way i could maybe delve into it a little bit deeper further down the line if we can borrow it again but just first impressions this is the car and because I've just shown you the interior of uh, another Audi, let's show you the interior of this Audi. So, by the way, you just sit in it and then it's on. So that's good. Hexagonal wheel, is that hexagonal? That's hexagonal. You've got a floating um, dash thing there. Completely flat floor in the back. Three seats in the back, two seats in the front. Lovely seats, actually. Very nice. Um, you've got head-up display, which you won't be able to see. Start button down here. This car has a theoretical range of 306 miles, so 300 miles, which is, like, loads, actually, for um, a small family car. So uh, let's see how we get on. I'll speak to you when I get back to base. Okay, so I've just driven back to the showroom. First impression is a really, really nice car, actually. It's, uh, it's surprising how nice it is for the, for the relatively low cost, I think, of this car. I'm gonna go and grab Rich, and uh, he's never seen this car before. I don't think he even know it exists, actually. So I'm just gonna grow, go grab him, and uh, we'll get his first impressions as well. Hang on. Welcome. Mm -hmm. This is a Q4, right? What do you reckon? First impressions, First interior. First impressions, interior is very nice actually. Are we going out? Yeah. Oh, I don't think we're in fun. Oh, well, I only go around the block. Right. Yeah, I like it. I like, I like the inside. It's So it's a bit bigger than a Q3. Yeah, it's quite spacious, isn't it? A little bit smaller than a Q5. Yeah. But there's loads of interior space. Can I put the aircon on? Is that going to use a battery? Yeah, <laughs> you put the aircon on, yeah. But I must say, Makes a racket. That's what, what's that? That's the aircon that's noise. The aircon, but I think it's. Broken. Are you recording this? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's broken. So. Oh yeah. I mean, oh no, no, it's coming through. Yeah, but it's not coming through very cold. I think it needs a regas. How in this brand new car? Yeah, I know. Well, that's a, making a right racket. So we'll just have to sweat for a minute. Okay. Oh, great. So. What does D and B mean? Well, D is for drive, like in a normal car, yeah. and B, I don't know what it stands for, I'm guessing braking, because it gives you more regen. Okay, what range have you got on this bad boy? 300. Okay. That's good. Yeah. And is it fully charged now? No, it's got 77 now. 77%? 77%, which has given me a range of 228 miles. I like the inside of this car. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like they got it right. Like, it's a bit... I mean, it's, just, it's an Audi, it is isn't what it? it is, so right? it's like, you know, it feels very Audi, good oh, quality. Oh, we're on dynamic too. mode, Mark, are we? Are we? Right. Yeah. Oh, God, it's got some, Jesus. I mean, this is quick, man. For, but like, this is the mid-range, so it's a 40, there's a 30, a 40, a 50, currently. Am I seeing Sonos sound system in Yeah, here? first oh, time. daddy. They have, <laughs> they've taken it away from B&O. Yeah, man. That's a big money Sonos move. At home. It is the one. Yeah, it's good. But it's good. Can we it put it on? No, because then we'll get copyright. But 
I can confirm it sounds good. Oh, can you? Yeah. It's gonna sound good, isn't it? Yeah, it sounds, yeah, it sounds like a proper Sonos system. Apart from the air con, don't you? Yeah, that's not good. And it's like 30 degrees today. Which is a rarity as well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, no, it's good, isn't it? It needs a pan roof. I think if you're gonna spec when you put a pan 100% roof in. 100% needs a pan roof, yeah. Um, I, Does this all save the planet leather as well? Um, do you mean vegan leather? Vegan leather. I don't know. It feels like be. it might be. Yeah, it might well be. Plasticky. How much is this car, Mark? Starts at 40,000. This one in launch spec trim is 47, which, you know, it's well, not It's not bad. that bad in, when you look at compared how much to a Golf. A, how much is a Q5? Probably yeah. the same money. Yeah. Okay. Um, so do, do they come with like a home charger and stuff? No, you buy one of them. Well. And how much are they? A couple of hundred quid. They're not a lot, are they? Well, they come to your house and fit that. Well, someone will, yeah. Right. An electrician that's friendly and local to you, Mike. <laughs> and also, it's much more efficient than the previous e-trons that I've driven. It's actually a nice drive. I've put it on comfort. It feels quite nice it's, now. It's, it's a nice, nice ride, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. And like, give that, it some. That's oh. like, that's oh, not yeah, bad. It's, it's quick. Like, it's not very quick over 40, but really, you're not. So are we saying this is your mid-range electric semi 4x4? Four four? Well, it's a mum car. Okay. Isn't it? Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's sexist these days, but it's like, it's a, it's a small family car. Actually. Yeah, they're also next year. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but next year they're making an RS version of this. Oh, they've got the new USB things in here as well. Yeah, USB C ports. So, this and it's going to come with a sport back. You can order a sport back one as well, right, yeah. which is a bit more yeah. coupe like. So, imagine an RS sport back version of this. Oh, yeah, that'd be quite be cool. Yeah, it will be quite cool. Yeah, so that's coming next year. Ooh, they've all got that little whistle noise, haven't they? You yeah, see, don't run anyone over. Is it? Yeah, is it really? Because electric cars are quiet, aren't they? Yeah, obviously. Is that so they put a noise in, so you... So I you, never knew that, So Mark. delivery drivers don't get run over when they're hopping outside of their... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Vans. God, that has crossed my mind. Is that why they give them a little bit of a... Yeah. Ah. You learn something new every day. Because they don't all do that. They didn't in the early days. They didn't do that. They're all no, quiet. They, what the first Teslas and that? Yeah, they're all quiet. But now they've got a. Yeah, they do need to do that though for yeah. safety. Yeah. Know? No, I like it. I don't like this colour. What is it? I don't know. Is it Daytona? Sort of well, Daytona grey. I've sold enough Daytona cars before. I mean, I, I think because it's just so. I mean, the outside of it is actually not unattractive. It's, it's quite no, an attractive car. It's like it's just normal. It's just not been Premier Sports. No, it? if you had all D-chrome yeah, and chrome, nice wheels on it, then it would look pretty cool, I think. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah. See, you're winning me round with electric cars. Because I, I think I have to be. Well, yeah. I mean, they're better. But every time you get in one, you're actually impressed. Nothing's gonna like replace a supercar, but these easily replace like. That, Every for day example, cars, yeah. that over there, like stuff that's not interesting. This is a better car. I've got to admit, I know everyone loves Mercedes and goes on about that big screen and a yeah, da 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 da. Much better car, this, isn't it? Audi's just can I yeah, say that? Just, yeah, like, it's our opinion, isn't it's it? It's our opinion. I, I just think they're just a better car. Yeah, I agree. And I love this tech. Yeah, and if that was one big screen, but then again, I think this is this might take over. This might be the new. Well, yeah. How, uh, Mercedes need to give us a car to try out, really. Like their new EQS. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> that is the they problem. They don't have any cars. No. Which is a slight it might your Audi haven't either. Well, got, yeah, they've got well these. To get they've this. got these. They've got these. Have they? Yeah, and you can buy one, and you can order the Sportback version now. So I wonder what it comes out on finance. This. Well, forty-seven grand. It's probably going to be what five hundred ish a month. run a quote for the purposes of your video yeah like. why not but you've got to think that in a year's time say it's had a 10 grand knock of depreciation mm -hmm. so at 30 something grand well the money's definitely starting to stay stronger in them than they were yeah because it's definitely more of a demand for them now yeah which there just wasn't really when electric cars first came along 
but now people want them, whether it be for the tax purposes, yeah, or just because they're better, yeah. Like, and like you look at Teslas now. And I know there's a brand new one coming the end of next year, but the current Model X performance, well, they're just going up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, I think, I mean, I've not seen the RS version of this or know anything about it yet, but the RS version of this with a sport back. In the, would, right color, in the right colour, blacked color, out, would look really would good. Would look really good, and it would probably tempt a lot of people out of like a Tesla Model Y, which is yeah, the, yeah. yeah. I agree with you there, Mark. Especially to do 300 miles of range. That's that's really good. That's twice what my i3s does, and that's perfectly usable. So double that, and it's like it's, you'd What's never think problem? about it ever again. Why is that saying 224 now then? Well, because it's only 77% charged. Oh, so you were saying to me at the beginning, 300... Yeah, yeah, fully fully charged, right, yeah. Okay. It's accurate, is it? Seems to be. Well, that other Audi was, wasn't it? It was, actually, yeah. Right, there's our little test drive over. Because it's 700 degrees in the car right now, because the aircon doesn't work. <laughs> in so a they, brand new Audi. Yeah, they, that is something that needs addressing. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll get it sorted. Yeah. See, things go wrong on new cars, not just you. Yeah, exactly. And it's not just Land Rovers, what everyone says are unreliable. It's every car in the world. Yeah, yeah. New, used, whatever it is. Yeah, everything goes wrong. If you got a problem, point. we'll sort it. <laughs> right. Right. There you go. Pleasure. Goodbye. So just out taking a couple of still images with this car, one of which we've probably used for the... Uh, the thumbnail of this video with uh, my friend Lurk, who is over there. Very, very talented photographer. I'll uh, leave his link in the description below. Um, but I want to try and get a recording of the sound of this car, which he's going to do for me right now, because it's kind of odd. I like it, but it's strange. And whilst I'm in a dark car park, here is the uh, ambient lighting. Looks, it looks cool. I mean, obviously, if it was if it was dark outside, then it would look, it would look really nice. In the back there as well. Okay, I've spent some good time with the uh, Q4 now, and this is uh, Apple CarPlay or wireless, by the way. So really good. Also, check this out. Right when I picked the car up, it had. 228 miles of range is now got after 26 miles it's now got one mile more range than it had when i picked it up that is possibly something to do with me being an absolute master of driving evs um but it shows you how efficient this car can be it's fantastic that number there might not mean a lot to you at the moment but as more people understand evs 4.4 miles per kilowatt hour is brilliant that's like fantastic miles per gallon if you want to talk about it in the old way um the e-tron that i drove before the full-sized e-tron was doing 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour so it's you know it's four times better in like a year of the car getting better if you see what i mean a year or two of evolution of electronics and it's four times more efficient than it was before so that's very impressive anyway now i have finished work and i'm picking my dog up from doggy daycare aka my mum's house um i don't have any children so i can't tell you what it's like as a family car but i can tell you what it's like as a dog car okay here's lando say hello in the boot of the e-tron um, now normally don't have an electric tailgate so will you stay in there stay there stay 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 there you go what do you reckon mate any good yeah 
Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> okay, that's good. So, one electric thing to another. I just stopped off at uh, my friend Rob's house because he has two children to ask his opinion on whether or not it'd be a good um, family car. He seems to think it would be slightly smaller if you, a bit too small if you had to, uh, you know, young kids where you have to have buggies in the back. So we just put a child's bike in the back uh, to see size wise. And it, it does take up quite a lot of space. There's no getting around that. Um, and in the back would be fine for two sort of older kids. But if you had like, you know, the big chairs, what are they called? Like kid chairs you can tell i don't have one then they might sort of butt up against each other a little bit there so it might be a little bit too small in the back for for very young kids if you had two but if you had one yeah you'd get away with it wouldn't you i reckon so that's it then for the first impressions on this q4 e-tron this is the 40 model um, I really like it. The short of it, the short version of the uh, of the summary is that it's a really good car. I can't believe the efficiency improvements on this over the big e-tron. Like it's amazingly efficient, like fantastic, better than pretty much any electric car I've ever driven in terms of efficiency of the battery. Really, really good. I've done. I've just reset the, the trip thing to drive down to lovely sandbanks, which you can probably see out the window there. Um, and I reset the trip. It was five miles from my house um, to sandbanks, and I've done 5.1 miles per kilowatt hour. So it's used one kilowatt to drive down here. Now, if I was to plug my car in overnight, I would be getting charged 5p per kilowatt. So the journey to do five miles cost 5p. Like, that is ridiculous. That's so good. So, so, so good. Um, I really think that this car will be a massive seller for Audi. And it really is. It feels like... It's hard to... It feels weird saying it because... It's not, it doesn't look like a game changer of a car because it just looks like a car. It just looks like an Audi. And I think that's why it's going to be so successful because people moving from their petrol or diesel Audis aren't going to be scared because it looks futuristic and weird and unusual. It just, it just looks like an Audi, like from the outside and the inside. It's so easy to drive. It's comfortable. It's quiet. It's refined. It's quick enough like on paper that's the weird thing about it on paper this looks slow like not to 60 is in like eight and a half seconds which is that is slow but the way they've mapped it sort of between five miles an hour and 30 mile an hour is really quick and then it tails off quite steeply after that so you know 40 to 60 isn't particularly quickly but honestly if you're driving in town and you're not doing naught to 60, you like that's not that's not what you're doing in a family car. So this is perfectly fast enough for for a family car. Perfectly fast enough. Um yeah, it's really, really good. Hopefully I'll be able to borrow either this or when the sportback version comes out, I'd like to do a long range test. So like let's go on a motorway, let's let's do a proper 100% full to totally empty and see what it really does because this claims to do 300 miles of range and unusually for an EV I actually reckon I could get more than what it's claiming because it's it's that efficient really really fantastic um, anyway there's my brief summary I'm going to go over there and uh, enjoy the sunset and um yeah i'll see you in the next video hopefully you liked it let me know in the comments would you choose this would you are you ready to swap effectively are you in an audi q product at the moment would you consider swapping to this is it is it time in your opinion is it time in my opinion it is time but that's just me what about you <laughs>